Hi guys, it's Mr. Toad the Gamer, and welcome back to more Mario Party 5. Last time we finished up mini game mode, and this time we're going to start bonus mode, which has Mamar as our guide. Now, I honestly am not very familiar with bonus mode, mostly because I don't play it very often. Also, the orange looks really cool. Hi there, welcome to bonus mode. I'm Mamar, and I'll be your guide from this point on. Some fantastic games here just for you. If I sub, you mean three. Have a great time, okay? So there's three things you can do, as I said. You can do Card Party, an exciting card game with new rules. Ice Hockey, a Mario Party on Ice. And Beach Volleyball, Bump Set, bob -omb. Um, This video will be doing Card Party, and the next video will be doing Ice Hockey and Beach Volleyball. So bonus mode will take two videos. One Card Party coming up. Now, I have not done Card Party in a really long time. So, <laughs> I know how it works, but it's really not that complicated. Hi there, welcome to the card party. I'm Mamar and I can tell you all about this game. Want to hear the rules? Yep, sure. I'll tell you all about the card party, okay? In this card party, you turn cards over as you move across the board. But first, decide in which order to players take their turns. And each player picks a card to decide the order, and then you set the location of a start space. Oh, a start space can be placed anywhere as long as it's next to a path card. As soon as the star spaces are set, the game can begin. So roll the die when it's your turn, and the number that comes up shows how many spaces you can move. There are dots in the pathway, and each dot equals one space. There's more! Turn over some cards to make special events happen. If you turn over a path card, a pathway will appear. If you get an item card, a very useful item will appear. To use an item, press B and select it from a list, okay? If you get an event card, some zany events could start- Zany? In some cases, a win could become a loss, so watch closely. Yeah, these are really cool. Be careful everyone, try your hardest to stay away from the Bowser card. If you get it, Bowser will appear. And a terrible event will begin, but it can also be just a thing you need to take the lead. Choose wisely, okay? And this is the wonderful Star card. It's the whole purpose of the game. Star cards can make you bonus points later. Whoever finishes with the most Star cards and the highest score wins. Well, I think that's all I've got to take up by the card party. Good luck, everyone! Yep. You can do short, standard, long, or longest. 7x7, 8x8, 9x8, or 10x10. I'm going to do standard, because it's not going to be too long. I'm playing by myself. Now, the characters you get are Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Wario, Daisy, Waluigi, Toad, Boo, and Koopa Kid are not playable. Now, what's really funny is that Waluigi's, under Waluigi, it actually says Wario, and Wario, it actually says Waluigi, which is really funny, because it means they messed something up. Um, I have not been Peach or Daisy at all, and as you guys know, or if you don't know, I like to be different characters, so I'm going to be Daisy. The computer players are randomized in this, so we're going to be playing with Mario, Waluigi, and Wario. Yep, things are okay. Let's play the card party! Except this mode isn't very fun because it's pretty much all locked. Decide to an order. You pick a card and, believe it or not, the lowest number is who you go first. So the lower your number, the, high, the, the earlier you'll go. You pick by player order. I'm, f I'm player one, so let's go with one. Mario pick a card, okay? And Mario's gonna pick that one. Well, Luigi, pick the third one! Pick the third one! Yes! Play order! And this is basically how the order is decided. And I gotta go first! Wow! Sweet! Daisy is first. Wario is second. If it was the other way around, I'd go last, but Mario's third. And Waluigi is fourth. I picked a good choice. Now, as you can see, it's plus or minus zero, meaning you can actually have a negative number of stars. So be wary of that when you're picking your location. You obviously want to pick your location near a star. And there's quite a few locations I can work out in my favor. I think I'm going to go... Let me actually take a look. I'm really good with strategy, so... Let's see. That's right near two star spaces, and this one's near three. I'm going to go here. Wario will select his start space, and he's going to put his pretty far away from me. There's eight star spaces on the board, and the game will end when all of them are done. Mario! Don't be that guy! Well, Luigi, select your start space. And you suck, and I hate you. Going first is an advantage depending on how close people start to you. I also would like the mute to this mode. And what's interesting, you roll an actual dice. So that's pretty lit. Got a five to start with, and I can actually go to a star card right away. 
And it's a star! Woo! Good start. However, because just because you get a star, that doesn't mean you'll keep it. You probably will lose your star at some point during the game. So be wary of that. Um, I want to go to the item. It's time to go to the item. Items are pretty good in this. I mean, there's not that many to pick from, but, you know, they, they, they help, they help. So Warrior gets a 5 as well. We're all just going to start with the 5s here, and he's going to get an item. And he gets a warp pipe. I honestly do not know what warp pipes do. Well, I do know what they do, but I don't get how they work, so it's really weird. And you will not be going a guaranteed path. As you saw, Warrior was only allowed to go one path. Uh, is everyone going to start with a 5 or 6? Like, for real game? He's probably going to go to the, yeah, he's going to go to the event. Events can make or break the game, so they're quite common. So if you're falling behind, you may want to go to an event and see what they can do. Mario just got a thing where he goes to a different location. And yeah, that didn't really help him all that much. Or he switched places with Wario. I'd rather not, to be honest. And you were the only one to not start off with 5 or 6, so it sucks to be you, Waluigi. Wow, I got the sweet end of the deal. Alright, Daisy, start. What I really like about this... Three. You can actually go back like this way, but I'm going to go get the item because items are cool. And I got a mushroom, which as you expect will make you roll two dice blocks. Oh, I'm forced to go this way. Well, I'm um, cool with that. Oh, no, I, th I think I know what the warp pad does. It gets rid of a junction, so he can actually go up right here. And he, can, he can choose where to put it. That's actually a that's actually a, a really good way to use that, and I think he just barely got to that star. Okay, I'm sorry about that cut. My friend actually called me, so his turn will be skipped out. He rolled a five. He got a mushroom and he got one star. He didn't miss anything, so I don't want there to be a phone call in the middle of my recording. And you can't pause this, which is really stupid. So me and Wario are on the board. Yeah, Wario actually had a pretty clever use of his word pipe. Okay, so it's my turn. I'm gonna use the mushroom. Use item. Mushroom. That's one extra dice block. You don't get anything from getting doubles, unfortunately. But, you know. The dice are red. It is pretty cool. Wow, double sixes. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go to the item. Because I know I'm gonna get a... To one star space at least. And I got another mushroom, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully, it'll let me go up. There we go. Yes, please. I think this might actually be bad, though. Nope, I got another star. Yay! Nah, ha ha ha. So now I have a lead, and that's pretty awesome. I usually don't win this. So, let's go this way. And there we go. Wario is probably going to use his mushroom. Yeah, I think Wario is my biggest competition right now. Just because he has mushrooms and he has um, good stuff. We got a 9, which I don't think will get him anything good. It might, though. He's going to get an item. Probably another mushroom. Mushrooms are pretty common. Yeah, he got another mushroom, so... Wario, we're going to be fighting out on this one, I see. Although, just because you're behind, you're not necessarily out of the game. He's going to go that way. He's going to be going that way again. And he's going to stop there. Right now, the game is going pretty smoothly for me. Which is pretty sweet, because I usually don't win this game. Again, events can make or break the game. Yeah, you, you get to hit a dice, which means he gets to move extra spaces. So, essentially, you got an 11 with that, which is actually really cool. He's going to go to the event, which is kind of a risky move. Boo! Ooh, Boo is really good. I'll steal just time. Where to go? Time really... Ooh, ooh, star card is still here. He'll steal a star card from anyone on the roulette. And he got me! What? Oh, okay, never mind. I got so confused for a second, but... <laughs> it was that second thing. Okay, so he took my star card. That's why, um... Those are really good, but at least I just got a star, so... Still first, not really complaining right now. 
Especially because this game is not over till it's over. I mean, there's still five star cards left, so anything can happen in these next couple turns. Although, I honestly don't think this is going to last very long. I love how he squishes Mario. Alright, let's use the mushroom. Yes, please. Woo! With the mushroom power, you can roll two dice. Hey! Oh, someone's gonna get um, doubles. Double sixes again. Alright, let's go for this. Nice! I got my star back! Woo! Yay! Back in the lead. Hooray! Congrats, Daisy. You got a star. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go up. Okay. Bah! Okay, this is a Z-Tall. As you'd expect, you lose a star from it. Kind of unfortunate that I got that. I took a risk. It didn't quite pay off. What a shocker. Of all things, it was a Z-Tall. That's not really a shocker, dog. Uh, maybe I'll go for the action next turn just to shake things up a little bit. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to use the mushroom. Wario is in a great position now. Alright, so we get to roll two dice. Again, we haven't seen that enough. Ten. Oh, Warrior's going to run away with this game, isn't he? Oh, he's going around. I am totally cool with that, honestly. I am totally cool with that. Uh, how many star cards are left? I'll have to check on my next turn. Mario's probably going to go to the... Yeah, I had a feeling. But Mario is actually coming back around. I think there's only three left. No, four left. Um, there is a two-star card, so just be aware of that. That is pretty much... You'll win if you get that. So, just be aware. Just be aware. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm not going to get the star card. Just for fun, let's go to the event. Maybe this will be good. Pink boo. Ooh. Pink boo. Oh! Who calls upon me this time? I'm in a really bad mood. I feel this way. Lots of cost trouble. He'll take one of my star cards and give it to another player. So I better hope he gets my z -tar. Damn it! Gives it to Mar- Aw, oh, Mar's going to win this now. No, game. You weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to give my z -tar card to someone. Now I have one star and one z -tar. That did not work out in my favor. No! I hate, I hate, I'm not a fan of this. That was pretty cool, actually. Alright, uh... Yeah, Mario's gonna win this game. Like, there's like no... If he gets two star, I don't think there's any stopping him. One star. Okay, well, if I gave him my Z-Tar, I would have two stars and he'd only have one, but nope, it's not working out that way. He's going to the action, though, and again, actions are really good. Like, you really want to get action spaces. if you, Especially if you're in my... What is with these sixes? Especially if you're in my position and it cannot hurt you because you have... Oh, right, I have a Z-Tar and one real star, so could actually end up hurting me. Alright, let's go to this. I have a good feeling about this one. Except I did not get... Argh! Okay, I'm not even kidding. Whenever I say I have a good feeling about something, it's always the worst possible situation. So I'm in fourth place. At least I can go to the action. This is going to be really necessary for me to win this game. Pink Boo. Okay, this could be good. Hello! Can you help me this time? Please take what I just got or something. I just don't want to finish in last place. Thank you! Taking the star card and giving it to Waluigi! Nice! So Waluigi just lost a star, so that could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Um, I don't think I'm going to win this, but I just don't want to finish in dead last because I had a good lead, but, you know, card party is not very fun. <laughs> and I think the last... Oh, Wario might actually win this game now because I think that's the last star card. Except he's... No, he's just going to barely get it. I think that's the last star card, actually, which means I think the game's over. 
Yeah, there's a double star. I think the game's over, actually. You got the star! Is that the game? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Wow, that was really quick. So we have a tie for first between Wario and Mario. Yeah, I found you're the results yet. Yeah, this was only 15 minutes. I didn't get the. I don't even know what the voucher does. Uh, I didn't get last place at least. But I didn't win, so whatever. Oh, how rare! Two players won this game! But we can only have one winner! So you pick a card, and if you get a star, you win. It's really stupid. So Mario picks the Z-Tar, Wario picks the Z-Tar, Mario picks. Zetar, Wario picks. Zetar, Mario picks. Zetar, Wario picks. And Wario is the winner of this game. Good job, Wario. Although I couldn't really care less because this mode is not very strategic or stra skill based. It's pretty much a game of luck, so nah. See you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, not really. Well, that's it for Card Party. Next time, we're going to do ice hockey and beach volleyball. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.